Hi there, it's me again. So today I want to explain you a little bit about the myth of hypnotherapy. A lot of people who hear about hypnotherapy, uh, they're quite afraid of it. Because, and, and I can't blame them, they're right, because for a lot of people, hypnotherapy or hypnosis is known because of entertainment, you know, stage hypnosis, which exists. But stage hypnosis is pure entertainment. What we do in hypnotherapy is really healing people, is really going back to root causes, to the real reason why they have certain sicknesses, they have certain symptoms, and then we help them to integrate certain parts from their past into the present. So hypnotherapy, it's completely different than stage hypnosis. This is a really, really important myth, in fact, that we need to break. The second myth is that um, hypnotherapy makes you sleep, which is not true. I always say hypnotherapy wakes you up because when you go into deep relaxation, your nervous system sleeps. Hypnosis, in fact, is focused awareness. It's highly, highly focused awareness, right? It's the same as like you're looking at a movie which you're really interested in, you're in a state of hypnosis. Or when you're driving a car, you're in a state of hypnosis. So which, with this um, highly uh, focused state of awareness, you go into a deep relaxation. Your nervous system is asleep. So your body will feel very heavy. But you, at any point, you can say like, I wanna wake up, I don't feel well, because you're talking. During the hypnotherapy, I make you talk. Because in fact, the client or the patient they have the information. I ask them questions, I guide them, but they have all the information stored in their subconscious. And again, from my point of view, hypnotherapy wakes you up because we often have a perspective on certain things uh, with the eyes of a five-year-old, with the eyes of a 10-year-old, with the eyes of a 15-year-old, but in fact, we're 40, 50, 60 years old. So integrating these broken parts, nurturing that inner child, which has been damaged, which has been abandoned, which has been abused, which has been neglected or bullied, integrating these parts in your current age now. So like kind of like upgrading a child, it really makes you up because it makes you restore the power which is already in you. So it, in hypnotherapy is very, very transformational and very empowering. Another myth of hypnotherapy is um, that I'm a dancer. Frankly speaking, I do agree because the first thing when you do hypnotherapy, make sure that the person you're working with, the therapist, the hypnotist, is highly skilled, is certified, has done courses, has years of experience because only like me, only after two years of studying very intensely, working with lots of people, I really got the hang of hypnotherapy. Hypnotherapy is really not easy to do. The fact that you bring people into a deep trance, the fact that you need to guide people uh, through their childhood traumas, through whatever happened in the past, the hypnotherapist needs a lot of skills to do that, right? Um, in hypnotherapy, it's all about suggestibility. So it's not about the depth. You can be in very light, in light trance, you can be in very deep trance. What's really important is that you're suggestible. 99% of people are suggestible. And if you're suggestible, you accept the suggestion, it's easier to accept the moment then. Of course, another myth It's quite funny because when I go to hypnotherapy and I'm talking to my clients and I tell them like when they're in a trance, when they're in a regression, they went back to the scene where they're four or five years old, uh, the mom criticized her or him very heavily. So that child had abuse that she was living with and I never did it from my PRP. When I asked that you will just honestly tell me no that's not true so 
it's not really true that a hypnotherapy can make you a billionaire because otherwise we would all be billionaires. You would have a lot of money in the bank and then you wouldn't even be working in the bank. But again, I'm just going to reiterate what I said in the, la in the, the previous notes. Very important to work with someone who has high skills. You know, I give you an example. I In, in the seven years that I'm working, and uh, even very, very good skills. Last time I was following a course in Australia, and she she's even psychic, she has extra sensory abilities, she's an amazing hypnotherapist. And while I was following her course, dance, that it was very difficult for me to move. Of course, I know I'm a hypnotherapist. I know that I can just um, wait until the end of the recording, you know, and then my body will become loose and she will count and I will go out of the trance, right? But again, don't do any hypnotherapy on yourself. There are a lot of audios, but it doesn't go very profound. So these are okay to listen to these audios on YouTube. There's no, no danger in that. But if you start to regress, really make sure that you're guided by a licensed or a specialized hypnotherapist. So if you um, want to hear more uh, about hypnotherapy, about me, uh, please uh, follow my blog on WeChat, subscribe to my channel on YouTube, like this video please, uh, share it with whoever is interested in hypnotherapy and transformation. And if you would like to follow my other channels, they're all listed below in this video. Bye.